for anyone, not just you, but if something is affecting you negatively get it, and you don't have to be around it, like figure out ways to get, get, a, get away from it. Yeah. Right. It's like, um, that's why social media is weird. Yeah, uh, is. social media is really weird. Um, and I, I know I mentioned on the podcast last week, um, or two weeks ago talking about like how I got blocked from Instagram because I was like unfollowing too many people. But I, I did that because I was just like, yeah, like, cause it, it went through my head. I was like, cause I was like seeing stuff and it was like, it was like affecting me. I think it's kind of what you're saying where I'm like, it's kind of making me think a certain way, like negatively about other people. And I'm like, why are you looking at it? Like, it's your fault for looking at it. It's not that person's fault for putting it out there. That person isn't putting this out there and saying, Carl, look at this thing. I'm deciding to look at this thing. So I took a look in the mirror and I'm like, okay, that's, this is actually my fault that I feel this way. Not this person or this company's fault. I just need to remove myself from being able to see this. And it's like, I had this thought of like, it's cause the easy thing is like, okay, let, let me just get off of social media because it's, it's not adding anything to my life. And I'm like, okay, but I do have like, you know, some friends on social media, like real friends that I know. Um, and I do have some family members on social media and you know, there's, there's people that I want to stay connected with. So the next best thing for me was like, okay, I'm just going to go in and take everyone off of my feed that I don't know and that I've never had a conversation with um, or I don't want to see their stuff. And I like did that. It was like a, a relieving thing where it was like, okay, now I don't have to see that stuff. And there's this weirdness of like, am I going to miss out on something? And then I take a step back and I'm like, when is the last time you got any value from social media? You know what that answer is? never for me except for people who follow at opex fitness they get a lot of value from social yeah, media yeah yeah no no no. but i'm saying like i know following I other you. people's accounts totally. like following other people's lives i've never gotten any value from that and if and and that went through my mind too right like i'm like okay who do i actually want to see and like you know educational stuff stayed uh news outlets stayed sports stayed because that's just that's the kind of stuff i want to see Right. So we're in control of, in most cases, we're in control of our environment digitally and physically. So I would just say, fucking stop looking at that stuff. God, that's such an important lesson. And I, uh, I say, I say a lot of this feeling comfortable with who I am, happily married, all of these things now, but I do think back to being 21 years old and trying to navigate life and, that's a little bit more of what worries me mm -hmm. is for, you know, younger girls and boys who are trying to find their own way and are looking to what is valued by society and seeing these beauty stereotypes that are pushed forward and thinking that they need to conform to that. And gosh, let me also say that I don't think that's ever not been the case. Mm -hmm. Like there has always been some ideal that people are working towards. I just think it is more and more prevalent, especially especially among women, but also among some men to like physically alter your body through surgery or through, through needles. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it on the, the influence. That's a real thing. Um, but that's why we always have to control our own narrative and we have to control what we can control in terms of visibility and stuff like that. It gets weird when we start talking about kids because, you know, and, and we talked about this before, like kids on social media and how we feel about that. Um, kids aren't going to make the right decision most of the time, right? Or they're not going to like make the most intuitive decision most of the time. Hopefully for those kids, there's someone that is, you know, over their shoulder and like guiding them down this like quote unquote right path. Um, but yeah, I, I still don't think it's, and I know you didn't say this, but I don't think it's social media's fault Yeah. because, you know, people start to build these ideologies. I think it's people's fault, yeah. right? Because we're the ones that are controlling the thing. So I think, you know, if if we continue to spread that or we start spreading that message where it's like, you know, if you feel this way, look within, right? Like that's something that I learned a long, long time ago where it's like anytime I was unhappy with something instead of like thinking like, okay, what did that person, what did that thing, what did that company do to me? It's like, how did I put myself in the situation to feel this way? Not saying I'm like... <laughs> blaming myself for everything, but I, I do, right? I always look in the mirror and I'm like, why am I in this position? And usually there's something that I did or did not do that put me in that situation. And I think social media is the exact same thing. Yeah, some uh, important self-responsibility uh, lessons inside of that for sure. Yeah.